YouTube, let's do car reviews. I don't do this often, but there was a lot of cars that came out this past week and you're probably wondering which ones do I buy? Which ones do I do I to set for? What do I need on my team to improve, man? And I'll tell you, this 50 promo, the best 50 players that shaped Madden is awesome because it's gonna give us a chance to use some of the players that were great in Madden, never really good in, in real life. Like the, you know, the Pat Watkins, Taylor Mays, those type of cars that absolutely dominated their errors in Madden, but weren't necessarily the best players in real football, you know. So it's gonna give you opportunity to see some of those guys and, and really use them on your team. So this whole promo is awesome. Awesome. Mike Vick just came out. Deion Sanders just came out. The new cards are insane, but I rarely ever do these videos until there's a card I think, you know, that's a card you need. That's a card that needs to be on every team. That card is the best in the game, and that's how I feel about Tyrone Calico. The best wide receiver in the game. They put him out. Now, you guys probably ask, who's Tyrone Calico? Now, Calico was a beast on the Titans uh, because he was tall, he was fast, 6'4". In this game right now, I have him up to 94 speed. Back in the day, I'm not sure what speed he was at, but just having that height. And a lot of things with Madden players or Madden cards or players back in the day, um, it mattered what team they were on. You know, if, if you were a 6'5 wide receiver with 98 speed, but you had no quarterback and no team to play with, uh, maybe you weren't the best. But there's a guy like Brian Finneran who was tall, wasn't that fast, wasn't that great, but he played with Mike Vick. So everybody used him and everybody abused him, essentially. And that's kind of how it was with Tyrone Calico, with Vince Young, I believe, at the time, or Steve McNair uh, with the Tennessee Titans. Uh, a little bit mobile quarterback, somebody that can move, you know. So a lot of times players were only as good as their supporting cast back when there was no mutt. Now, this card is awesome. Let me show you guys um, what, what my team looks like now because it is a little bit different. You know, I changed it up with these past updates with these with these new cars that came out now we still rock finley i think he's the best in the game at tight end we have this tyrone calico which i'll get into a little bit more michael vick just came out man the best quarterback in the history man you guys know i'm excited about that reggie bush probably the second uh must have card in this group of nfl 50s um for me uh just he's unreal um, not as much needed as Tyrone Calico, I think, because there still is Barry Sanders. There still is Bo Jackson. That work done. You know, other players you can put in a running back. Julio Jones. I love Julio. There's a lot of wide receivers people are using in the slot. I still like Julio. People are using Golden Tate. These Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison. I just think they're punks. I think they're punks. I think they're soft. Juli Manduli is not soft. Pause. He is an absolute stud. I, it's my choice. Uh, for wide receiver in the slot right now, Julio Jones, um, and Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, I had Brandon Cooks. For me, Tyreek Hill outplayed Brandon Cooks. Tyreek Hill is still the cheetah. Grabbed his Walter Jones at left tackle. The one change I did make, I remember I told you I had I used to have Patriots chem, but I have now I have 25 Chiefs and 25 Falcons for Michael Vick, Julio Jones. And on the defensive side of the ball, we have that boy Deion Sanders. We have Deion Jones. So we're going to get a boost in speed to Deion Sanders, Asante Samuel, uh, and Michael Vick, Julio Jones. And so players like that really helped me a lot. But we have Jamal Adams. We have Tyron Matthew, Deion, Byron Jones, Denzel Ward. I have Brian Dawkins. We have Reggie White. We have uh, Miles Garrett, Lawrence Taylor. Um, Bobby Bell, just uh, pretty much everything. Now the team looks ugly. My team always looks ugly on paper because I, I, I have these chems and stuff. So I have Justin Houston and, and Olaquan starting on a mutt team is pretty nasty. But like I said, that's why we have 25 Chiefs and 25 Falcons right now. Um, I use bench press and acrobat on my corners. I use secure tackler on my safeties. Acrobat on Isaiah Simmons and Tyron Matthew. Offense, I just use Escape Artist, Slot Apprentice. Uh, Reggie Bush has the Halfback Apprentice or Halfback Master, Backfield Master, whatever it is for one AP. So he's definitely a stud. He is pretty much unguardable out of the backfield. I have the Tight End Apprentice on Jermichael Finley. I actually have Post Up on my tackles right now. Post Up instead of edge protector i see a lot of this game is three man rushes i think that's a big deal and and being able to get that post up ability not get shedded by double teams is really important for me so that's why i went post up instead of edge protector stilling the, the labbing process of that not going to tell you it's the best but for me that's what i'm trying right now and we have this boy tyrone calico um let's take a look i mean it's just it, for me it's 
He's the best wide receiver in the game. It's not even close as we look at his attributes. Attributes or attributes? What do you guys say? I think it's attributes. Attrib- I, I, whatever it may be. 94 speed, 96 deep route running, 6 foot 4, 220 pounds. Now, what's crazy is I, I always try to look for this because bench press, the man coverage is such the meta right now. I always try to look for this. Where is the release rating? I, I, I don't think it's like even on here. Offense, we see carry, change of direction, ball carry, vision, stiff arm. Juke, uh, not the best after the catch. Juke can spin kind of low, but you know, uh, not the not the biggest part of being a wide receiver. But it helps. But his is a little bit low. Spec catch, 94 spec catch, 90 catch in traffic. Medium route run is not a 90. It's 89. But you know, we're going deep, boys. We're not worried about we're not worried about underneath anything like that. So for me, uh, the release rating, I think you have to actually pause the game to see it, but. He's a big body. Big bodies, they don't get touched to the line of scrimmage. Makes a difference. Um, right now, I actually do have deep in elite for one AP on him. Once again, just trying stuff out, see if it works, and then we're going to give that a run. But let me show you guys some highlights. What I did with Tyrone Calico this weekend league, he absolutely went off. Now, Calico, man, he's going to go deep. And I'm telling you, when you're 6'4", the trajectory of the ball is so much different. You can reach out further, and that adds to the speed of the player. I promise. He's 94 speed, but because he's 6'4", he feels like he's 96, 97 speed. As you see him over the top, just smoking cover three. Brian Dawkins, Namdi Asamoa. No match for Tyrone Calico, man. If you guys want to watch me play live, twitch.tv slash dub dot. You guys know that all those links are below as we hit the streak right up the middle. Boom. This guy is a monster. I'm telling you, there's no DB that's going to bench press him. There's no DB that's going to try to put hands on him. No one's going to get physical with this beast as he gets hit right there. Holds on to the ball. No problem. Big body. Another one. Post. Cover four. Bomb. You guys want to learn how to bomb these coverages? MaddenTurf.com. I would suggest the VIP membership. I would. But you know, you, you get what you want and get whatever you need to become a great Madden player. Back corner to end zone. Little bit of touch on that pass right there touchdown Tyrone Calico and um, we'll go again with this post route just too fast for the user too fast for Adrian Wilson that looks like Trey Wayne Trey Wayne's his lunch uh easy right there next we're just going to go up top you're just not going to cover him with uh tr- I think that's Trey Wayne's again number 26 no shot you're covering 94 speed six foe like that again Another one with Dre Bly this time. That's Dre Bly. I mean, that's a baby. Five foot ten. You're not going to put hands on Tyrone Calico. This time we're going to roll out. You got to keep that safety over top. Dre Bly. Now Dre Bly. He had his run. He had his two weeks in Madden when he was really good. Now he's pretty much meat, and so is Rod Woodson. Meat touchdown. Uh, Tyrone Calico, man, I'm, I'm telling you, uh, I can't wait till Moss comes out and I can have a Tyrone Calico, Randy Moss, Julio Jones trio, and I, I'm going to probably put Titans Chem to get a point of speed on Randy Moss and Tyrone Calico. Uh, that last touchdown, I highballed, man. Highball is something when you have these big bodies, you put that highball up there, nobody can get near it as we do a post touchdown. Another one, just a streak back of the end zone. Asante Samuel, you are food. Touchdown, Tyrone Calico. Uh, lofted to the sideline bob sanders byron jones cannot get there and we are going to take this to the crib um i said he probably scored you know shoot 40 touchdowns for me this weekend league so as like i said if i had a choice if you guys had one nfl 50 player or madden 50 player this new promo come out i would grab tyrone calico man like i said if you guys have any questions uh, what you do with your team, anything like that, man, please check out the stream. Every single night we go twitch.tv slash dub dot. If you're from YouTube, let me know you're from YouTube, man. If you like these car reviews and what players I like and what players I think you need on your team, please hit the like button.